Hi, I'm Steve, the introverted traveler. I've made it my mission in life to explore the beaches, deserts, mountains, and even cityscapes around us, and to do so while avoiding contact with as many people as possible. And although I will never hang out with you for any reason, I do invite you to join me on my journey. Come and see the world through the eyes of an extreme introvert. On this edition, we hike to Ponytail and Triple Falls in the Columbia River Gorge of Northern Oregon. Along the way, we will see lovely waterfalls, lush green forests, cool bridges, and too many damn people. This and much more on this Introverted Travel. Once again, off here on another adventure, and I'm in the great state of Oregon. I'm gonna make this fast because unfortunately, people everywhere. I'm actually at Horsetail Falls doing a hike that starts at Horsetail Falls here in the Columbia River Gorge and does about a five mile loop, goes past several other waterfalls, including Ponytail Falls, which I didn't know was a thing. But as I said, the uh, Columbia River Gorge here. There is the historic Columbia River Gorge Highway and it's a trap for people. It's nothing but people. It's made of people and really it's the Forest Service turning this whole place into waterfall porn and allowing way 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 too many people in. Uh, I parked a little ways down the trailhead because I couldn't find a parking spot. So yeah I'm revved up because there's too many damn people around here. But yeah so I'm doing an actual hike. I'm at the portion of the trail where the tourists are still trying to hike up. Once I'm out of that, my mood will stabilize and I'll become sane again. But until then, welcome to the video, folks. Columbia River Gorge today. Included, complaining, and whining about there's too many people. Let's go. Oh, so this is why my hiking trail is completely full of people right now. The trail goes behind the waterfall. So, a bunch of tourists come up here, go, ooh, look, the backside of water, and then go back. Completely, of course, you know, ruining the hike for sane people, but yeah. Well, I'll have more to rant about this later, but for now, let's just go. Now that I'm finally away from the misery and chaos that is other people, particularly tourists in this area, I'm gonna provide a little bit more of an explanation because I was literally rushing to do my intro and everything else because I can't film very well in front of others. I have too much anxiety. So all the ranting and plus, you know, it's probably not good style to be ranting about how much you hate everybody in front of everybody, but yes. As I said, today, Columbia River Gorge. More specifically, let me see, what's the actual name of the trail? I probably should have uh, looked this up before I started the camera, but uh, that would take professionalism and we all know I have none. So, today we are on the Horsetail and Ponytail Falls via Oranetta Trail. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but uh, I can barely see this because I'm old and I didn't bring my reading glasses. So that's where we are today. We're gonna be doing almost six miles, actually probably over six miles, because again, this is all trails and it's wonderful estimates. I actually have some dual purposes for being out here today. The first one, of course. Oh, there's a waterfall. It's Oregon, they just sneak up on here. It's like you turn a corner and wow, there's a waterfall. And after a while, you see so many of them. They're just like common places like, you know, bird, tree, car, office building, giant waterfall, person, giant waterfall. I mean, it just all kind of blends together, but uh, 
since I've only been here for a few days, and you can probably can't even see that in the distance, but there's a waterfall and it is beautiful. So yeah, back to the fact that this is dual purposes. First of all, purpose number one is I'm out here in nature and attempting to get away from people. Purpose number two, and I don't think you can see this with the angles that I'm using here, but I'm testing my gear. This is my shakedown. I actually have an incredibly bold and ridiculously dangerous hike scheduled for a couple days from now. I am attempting, or will be attempting, the summit in Mount St. Helens, which is going from hiking territory to mountaineering territory. So I had to buy a whole bunch of equipment because we all know that I have no idea what I'm doing even with hiking, let alone mountaineering. I, I, I barely know, you know how to walk, let alone mountaineer anything. So I bought a whole lot of equipment, a, a whole lot of equipment, basically mortgaged my house, not really, but I should have, to buy all this equipment. Yeah, so I'm doing a shakedown of the backpack, the GPS tracking stuff that I bought, the water system, all that stuff. So I'm out here doing some testing. I'm out here looking at nature. I'm out here talking to you on a GoPro. I'm out here complaining about people. All in all, productive day. Okay, that's just cool. Three waterfalls for the price of one. Or there, I mean, is it really three waterfalls or is, I guess it's three waterfalls? I don't know, there's people over there on the bridge, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. You come around the corner and boom, waterfall. I guess there's a way to get down there and get closer and it actually looks relatively safe. So uh, stand by. All right, I was up there. Now I'm down here. That looks even better. Check that out, that's pretty cool. We'll go right down to the edge here. And then we're we're not going any further because I'd go over and uh, yeah, no. I'm not dying on, on this uh, hike. I'm gonna wait until the volcano and then try not to die desperately there. But today we are looking, now I believe this is called Triple Falls, which makes sense because yeah, Triple Falls. And uh, yeah, that's absolutely awesome. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? That was worth the stinking hot trail and well, it was, nothing's worth all the people, but uh, that's pretty cool. Well, unfortunately, my theory proved true once again. That's the theory that as you get closer to the cool thing, no matter how many people you see on the trail, there's zero people on the trail, there'll be a hundred people at the cool thing at the end of the trail. No idea where all these people come from, but back there with Triple Falls, there was a bridge, as you saw me go over that thing, and uh, people everywhere, bathing in the creek, sitting on rocks, you know, just generally ruining the atmosphere, destroying nature, and, and you know, ruining my mood and, and, and destroying my solitude. Because that's what people do, you know. People, for, you'll forget, humanity is about destruction. It's not a good thing. It's just like, you know, planetary locusts. So, given that there are a whole bunch of giant planetary locusts sitting over there, I'm over here in the bushes talking to you. But, uh, yeah, there were people all over the place. They're coming from who knows where jumping out of wormholes falling from the sky i don't know how they get out here but uh yeah i'm gonna keep going because the trail keeps going i'm not exactly sure where it's headed at this point that seemed like a logical turnaround point to me because that was the cool thing i don't know if there's anything cool past here but all trails claims there is and then the trail just ends so let's go see what lame thing all trails has for us uh and uh yeah All right, 
I'm still literally just meandering through the woods. All trails is leading me somewhere, but it's probably leading me to the woods to leave me there for dead. But uh, so far, I'm just out here. It's quiet. I only saw one other person after the bridge. So, so my harmony has been restored momentarily because I have to go back that way. So I have to go back to the herds. I got to go back to all the tourists. Oh, my life is hard, folks. So hard. But uh, so far, all trails has led me into a deep, dark forest. I'm hoping that at the end of this trail, there's not a grave already dug for me. But again, this is all trails we're talking about. So more than likely. Congratulations, all trails. You've topped yourself. At the end of the trail, these signs just telling you where stuff is. So the Franklin Ridge Trail, Columbia River Historic Highway is three miles that way. That's where we came and so forth. This is almost as good, all trails, as the time you led me up to the top of the peak and all it had was like a bunch of bushes around and there was a plaque that said, yeah, you're at the top of the peak. I thought that was glorious, but yeah, leading me to the two beautiful trail signs. Why, why couldn't I have turned around at the waterfall? Like that would have been cool. We've been like, oh, that is awesome. That's the end of the trail. Look at that awesome waterfall. But no, trail markers. All right, all trails. Well, at least you're not trying to kill me. Although those may be booby traps. So I'm not going to touch them because arrows may come flying out of the woods with a little alltrails.com logo on it and will stab me in the head and they'll claim another victim. No, all trails. I know your booby traps. No, no. Bad. Bad. Oh, got my finger in there. Okay. So, as you should know, I'm turning around. There's another sign down there. I think it said, you know, dead men tell no tales or something. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back. This is the end of the damn all trails map. How lame this ending, I swear. There's Triple Falls once again, in a little better lighting than before. I'm of course here as usual in the middle of the afternoon. So the sun, however, is up there and it's uh, gonna be behind the mountains pretty soon. That's always fun. There's people all over this place. I've now come to the part where everyone stopped here. Of course, the, the, the cool thing. So there's the cool thing. There's people over there and there's me trying desperately to get away from the people over there. So, here's the, the uh, waterfall once again. It is beautiful, it is wonderful. Let's go. Well, we are back here. So this is the first bridge we crossed and I'll be done soon. It's getting later, I'm tired. There's still too many damn people out. But at least the waterfalls are beautiful. It's one of those days, folks. I was testing out my equipment, so I stopped filming for a while because I was testing out the uh, trek poles. Because when I go up the Mount St. Helens, I'm gonna need trek poles. Well, mission accomplished. Can't even get my finger in the frame. Mission accomplished, the trek poles work. I got down this in pretty record time for me. I mean, it was like a fast turtle. I, I was like a speed walking turtle or a speed turtle turtle, whatever turtles do. They don't exactly walk. They kind of like very, you know, anyway, we're not going to get into the physics or the logistics of turtles, but what I will say is the poles worked. I didn't slip. I am in one piece. I am not dead. And hopefully going down a volcano, they will save my life from falling and dying and hitting my head and dying and all that stuff associated with dying. So to recap, we're at a bridge, there's a waterfall. There's a fat introvert. Let's go. Okay, so we are getting closer and closer to the end. 
and closer and closer, unfortunately, to the herd of people that are going to be down the highway. So I'm going to go ahead and do my trail riding now. And we're doing it as fast as possible because I have a feeling that there's just going to be people, people, people. Oh. So scale of one to ten. One, here we have sun right behind me here. So one being the worst thing ever, Disneyland on the 4th of July, the number of people, uh, the equivalent of the number of people in Disneyland on the 4th of July, an introvert's nightmare, people screaming, kids running around, weird people in costume, you know, the whole shebang. Versus a 10, which is the most wonderful thing in the world, middle of the field, Antarctica, just you and the penguins, no human beings for hundreds of thousands of miles or whatever. So, that's the ideal. But of course, nothing can ever be the ideal unless you literally go to a field in Antarctica. So, <clears throat> and that's a nice field, by the way. Uh, on that scale, one to 10, 10 being heaven, one being hell, AKA Disneyland. I'm gonna give this trail about a three, maybe a four. There were definitely patches of quiet and solitude towards the uh, end of the all trails route and then again going back to the forest and so that was quite lovely but the part that i'm in now is dangerous awful territory because there's other people around and other people are misery being around people in general complete misery so i'm going to give this a three or four but please note i am here on july 3rd the day before of course fourth of july so it's a Monday, people took today off. So there's probably a bunch of people running around having an extended weekend and a long holiday and doing all that crap that I hate people for, you know. So keep that in mind, but we're gonna give this a four. As far as misery index goes, well, I'm about to be headed into a three or a four because again, people. But in the good parts of the trail where there was nobody or very few people, probably about a two. And that's a one to five scale, one being not miserable at all, which is absolutely ridiculous pipe dream. I'm always miserable to some degree. And a five course being the most miserable thing in the world. And that's usually where I hover around, you know, four or five. But uh, today, probably around a four in the people parts, two in the non-people parts. And overall, it has been beautiful. It's been very hot. The trail is not as scenic as it probably used to be, of course, because of the fire damage. But the waterfalls are cool. Not exactly sure why all trails just sort of dumps you out next to a bunch of trail markers, but it is what it is. So those are the ratings. I'm about to head right into the people. So uh, pray for me. Let's go. All right, I am almost back to where I started. I'm headed down now, and of course, there's people everywhere. So let's do a quick recap. We are at Horsetail Falls today. We did a seven mile trek past Horsetail Falls, up to Ponytail Falls, and then beyond, we saw Triple Falls, and then for whatever reason, all trails ended itself at a bunch of trail marker summits. Way to go being scenic there, all trails. But along the way, we tried out new equipment that I will be using for a massive hike in a couple of days. We saw way too many damn people, as usual. But we also found moments of solitude here and there. So, what I'm gonna tell you is what I always tell you. Stay introverted, everyone. And of course, I'm gonna see you on the next adventure.